Hi, I've been working on today's video for the past couple weeks and it's something I am very excited to share with you all. About a month ago, I posted a what I eat in a day as a vegetarian and the feedback I got on that was really, really cool. A lot of you were inspired by my meals and just like the way I talked about my story of becoming vegetarian. Because obviously for me, it was something that I never expected to happen or even had really considered until my food poisoning happened. If you wanna see more on that, I'll have that video linked down below. One comment I did see a lot of on that video was people wanted to know how they could eat healthy on a budget. So I think you can see where this video is going by now. We have a list of ways you can eat healthy on a budget or in a cheaper way. Eating healthy is a very broad term, I think, to everyone that means something different. I do wanna make it clear, I am not some nutritionist telling you what you should eat, telling you what's good and bad for you and what's healthy and what's not. I'm giving you tips as an 18-year-old teenager. I wanna show you from my day-to-day -day life what I do to try and save money when it comes to my eating. I am also not on a diet. I don't go somewhere and strictly eat healthy things. What I like to do though is plan out my week of meals, know when I'm gonna treat myself, when I'm gonna go out and buy something if I wanna go to Starbucks, and overall just when and where to spend my money. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can take some little things away from it and let's get started. Okay, I don't even know where to start, honestly. <laughs> First tip that I have, and it's one that has changed my life for the better when it comes to my expenses, it is to not buy packaged food Foods, fruits, vegetables, anything that you can buy fresh or individually and put into a bag yourself tends to be a whole lot cheaper. If you go and you see a big thing of watermelon, they're normally charging you like $8 for that. But when I went to the store, I bought two watermelons and I believe the deal was like two for five. And that is giving you so much watermelon. <laughs> All you have to do is just cut it up yourself and maybe put a little more time into it. A lot of the times groceries in different places like to jack up the price for things that are convenient. Obviously it times you can get that stuff. I remember when I played volleyball and my mom would have like the team snack. We'd run by there before and grab a couple of those watermelons or something and it made sense. But when it comes to day-to-day -day eating, let's say you're packing it for your school lunch, I think buy all of your fresh veggies, whether that's for me like Brussels sprouts, they're so much cheaper when you buy them individually. And you can also know how many you're gonna eat that week so you don't have to have all this waste. But whether it's Brussels sprouts, watermelon, literally lettuce, you can buy a thing of lettuce and make your own salad lettuce. Anything it is, I think go on a weekend and get all of your groceries and then cut them all up and make them the way they have them in the store if they were pre-bought and this also leads me into my next point here that I want to talk about which is having a good environment for when you're making food when you go home on a weekend and let's say you're going to be chopping up stuff I have made the kitchen a very fun environment because I love to light a candle and listen to some music and dance around. It sounds really cheesy and it might feel stupid, but it's really changed my perspective of the kitchen and it's made it so much more fun for me to be in there. I tend to get distracted and wanna just go on my phone or be lazy on a weekend and I totally get that. But if you wanna be productive and cut up your stuff and make your meals, I think having a fun environment and literally you can invite a friend over and do it together, it can make it like a fun little activity. This also goes into my point of meal prepping. So what I like to do is make a list in my little notebook here that I bought on Etsy and I will go on Pinterest on a weekend and I will meal prep and this goes from going on Pinterest and finding new vegetarian meals that I want to try out along with meals that are my favorite ones that I've made before or my mom has made. I don't make all my meals. My mom makes a lot of my dinners, most of my dinners and I'm very blessed to have that because she works around me being vegetarian so you may have a parent that you can talk to if they make your meals and you want to try something new or if you do it yourself then you can go on Pinterest, find the recipe and and go to the store, make your fun environment, and cook it yourself. But meal prepping helps because then you know how much of everything you need, as well as when you wanna spend your money out because there's been times where I just do no planning and then I find myself spending money for like three different meals in a day just because I'm out and being lazy when I could have totally made a salad at home and brought it with me or a bistro box, which is one that I love making. I'm obsessed with the Starbucks like bistro box with like the eggs and the cheese, but they jacked that price up to like six or seven, eight dollars. I have found myself going home and I got these little containers from the store that I reuse. I will hard boiled eggs on a Sunday, cut up a block of cheese, which lasts me a while, add some cashews or almonds, the little packets of almond butter, and then some cracker that I already have 
in my house. And it's so much cheaper and you can literally bring that anywhere if you're gonna be out and about. But on the days that you can't do that or you don't want to, then you know you can treat yourself. But it's all about writing down your meals so that way you're not finding yourself hungry after work or the gym or wherever you are and wanting to go to Starbucks or get a protein shake or something. You can go home and make a meal there, already have one prepared so you don't have to spend the time cooking it. Because I know after the gym, when I come home, I want everything in the kitchen and I don't want to spend the time making it, so I'll normally go for something convenient. But if you have it already prepared or even have like a protein bar out or something, it will make you less opt to spend money. It just depends on your budget. Everyone's is going to be different, so you can't base yours off of someone else's. I also travel a lot, so it's a lot harder for me to do this on a week to week basis. But I do try when I'm home to follow this. Another thing here that I want to note, I think in my videos in the past, I've shown myself going to Sprouts or to Whole Foods and getting really overwhelmed and buying all my like vegetarian healthy stuff there. I want you to know that you don't need to go to the more expensive stores to get your produce and your food for the week. I go to my local fries literally every single week with my mom and they have 80% of what I need. When we go to Sprouts it's to typically find my vegetarian sausage, my gluten-free bread, which even now they have that at fries. You don't need to go to the stores that jack up the prices. If you want to go there that's fine but if you're talking about being on a budget. You can go to any store and work it around what you need. This one's a little bit random now, but when I talked about meal prepping, that also means getting things in advance. With fruits and vegetables and different things like that, you can't have them last for a whole while, so I feel like go every week and get those and then use what you have in your meals or snack ideas for that week. But when it comes to beans, they typically do not expire for a very long time. I have no idea. I just know everyone has always said like beans, you can they last a very long time. When I've gone to the store, I have bought so many things of them where I don't even have to worry about that because chickpeas and black beans are two of a vegetarian's best friends. At least for me, those are two of my main sources of protein and I throw them in every salad, every meal. They're just so easy to mix into anything and they give you the protein that you're lacking from possibly other things, at least for me when I first was a vegetarian. I wasn't eating anything that was substituting the meat that I used to eat, and so I was just like really sick and I had really low blood pressure. So now I eat all of my protein and that comes from multiple different things. But if you buy a bunch of beans and just have them in your pantry or your section of the kitchen, it makes it easier to not have to buy them and they're always just there. You can also go to a farmer's market on the weekends. I found one locally here and I went with my mom on a Friday and they just had some veggies, some jellies, all sorts of fun stuff. It does depend which one you go to. Not every single farmer's market you go to is gonna have things cheaper than at a grocery store, but it's also a good way to get inspired to go out and buy your vegetables and produce. You can go with a friend, you can take some pictures. I love doing it now and I feel like a little grandma going up there and getting all of my produce. It is so fun and just literally you can Google on your phone like farmer's market near me and see when they have it what their hours are and different things like that. Now when it comes to protein bars, I like to be stocked up on these. A little tip is you can go on Amazon or a website like that and you can typically buy a huge pack of them for a lot cheaper than if you go to the store and buy like individual ones. You wanna always have one on you so that way when you're out and about, you're not feeling like you wanna go to Starbucks or somewhere quick and get something. So in this notebook, I do wanna show you with a little close up. I have my Monday through Friday. I didn't include my weekend on this cause I wasn't in town but typically I I would have that too, and that's when I also go grocery shopping. But I'll literally just have my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'll even write when I'm going out or who I'm going out with to eat. And then I'll have like when I'm treating myself and I'll make it all fun. And then on the next page of that, I will typically write my grocery list for that week, and then that will include the stuff on the list before that. So that way I can go through that list or go on Pinterest and see what I need that I don't have. And when I go into the grocery then, I will not just be throwing everything into my cart. Also, don't go grocery shopping hungry. Worst thing you can do, because you will just pick up random things. And then on my last little list here that I make for the week, I have my eating out. So on here I had two times Starbucks, lunch out once, a smoothie bowl after the gym, and an AJ's green tea. Now this varies every single week and it also is going to vary from person to person. So don't base what I'm doing here for yourself. Another easy snack that you can do along with like protein bars to always kind of have in your fridge. If you hard boil a bunch of eggs at the beginning of the week and you add salt and pepper or like hot sauce, they are so yummy, so so filling. And another 
quick and easy one after the gym or after school. But I typically do put them in the bistro box and I'll bring that with me. But don't leave it in the sun. Like if you're gonna eat it, make sure it's like in a cooler or something. Now if you're like me and you live in a big family or family where you have other people that live with you and you're not living alone. My family all has different things that we like to eat. My whole family is vegetarian, but I am. And I like my certain protein bars, my certain snacks. And when I spend my money on it, I like to keep it in my own little area so it doesn't get confused with the other stuff. So I have my own little cabinet in my kitchen where I put all of my kind of stuff. So I recommend if you live in a family where you feel overwhelmed with putting all of your stuff away, try and find an area in your kitchen and talk to your parents or your roommate and be like, hey, this is gonna be my area. And that way, after the grocery, you can just put all of your so that doesn't need to go in the fridge in there. And then you can also get a little area in the fridge, but I think having an area that you know you have your stuff in will help make it feel more organized and make you feel ready to cook and eat the stuff. The last thing that I wanna talk about here as well is to make leftovers. So if you make a meal for dinner and you have a bunch of leftover, you can literally throw that into a container and bring that to school the next day and make that as your lunch. That's another great way of saving money. So that way you get like two or three meals for the time and effort and money of one. So those are all my tips here for eating healthy on a budget. The term healthy and the term budget does mean something new for every single person. So I encourage you to just take a couple of these things and I hope they can help you and maybe you can see some money being saved and you can get an extra Starbucks or anything you want now, here or then. Saving money does just start by the little things. Like it might not seem like a lot if you go to the store and maybe you save like four dollars. I'm also not a nutritionist, should not be telling you what you eat. You do you. This is literally for the people that wanted to know how I eat on a budget. I am not on a diet and I eat literally whatever I want. I just have found this to help me be organized. I know I showed in that video a very healthy day, but I would never like to show you guys that, oh, my life's perfect and I eat amazing every single day because I don't. And there is days where I will literally eat whatever I want and I'll definitely, I need to show that sometime because I don't want you guys watching that and feeling like, I need to eat healthy every single day. It's all about how good you make your body feel and how you make yourself feel. I'm gonna go. I'm actually headed to Germany this morning. Yeah, I go into Germany. I will have a whole video on that. It will be coming out in January. I will also have the what I eat in a day that I made back a month ago down below for you guys to reference. If you want a part two to this or just meal ideas and more things, let me know because I'm becoming really passionate about talking about these things. 2020 is gonna be a great year filled with more things like this and I really think me becoming vegetarian and me doing this stuff happened for a reason and I just want to share my story with you guys. I just realized that with my rushing around because I was going to Germany right after I filmed that, I didn't talk about an organization and I'm really disappointed in myself I knew the one I was gonna talk about, I just literally forgot when I was ending it to talk about it. Also, I'm wearing my friend Keaton's sweatshirt she just came out with. So cute, I'll have it linked down below. The organization is called Guiding Eyes and it was DM'd to me by actually a couple of you guys. And basically they connect and train service dogs for free for the blind. So every single person that gets one, it is free of charge. And I was reading on there and it's super expensive to train a dog for becoming a service dog and the fact that they're able to give that to these people who may not be able to afford it. I think that's really cool. There's all sorts of ways that you can get involved. They have like events and ways you can learn about it, but I think definitely sharing it because they are a nonprofit organization is super important. So yeah, I will have the link to that down below. Um, now switching back over to my other outro. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Okay, bye guys.